Hello there. Today I want to share with you some key success factors to achieve your career goals. Now, your primary goal should be to increase the likelihood that you will be one of those remarkable people who achieves greatly and who makes a real difference with his or her life. And this is very much in your own hands. To realize your full potential, you must focus on your career goals and hard work. Free yourself as much as possible from randomness and uncertainty. You must organize your life in such a way that the probabilities of achieving your career goals are extremely high. You must take complete control over every part of your life and create your own future. You must leave nothing to chance. Now, when people achieve great success faster than others, they're immediately accused of having good luck and rarely attribute it to hard work. When people make a mess of their lives, largely due to their own shortcomings, their own behaviors, they dismiss it as just being bad luck. By the way, this is the real difference between winners and losers. Winners don't believe in luck. They believe they're in control of their lives. Losers believe that everything is either good luck or bad luck, and they have no control at all. Now, one of the reasons for this confusion about the reasons for success and failure is that most people don't understand the difference between chance and luck. Chance refers to gambling, to casinos, to blackjack and poker and slot machines and even horse racing. In games of chance, the outcome is almost completely out of your control and has nothing to do with the success factors in life. Luck, however, is something completely different from chance. What we call luck is really the law of probabilities in action. The lucky individual has done many things that in combination dramatically increase the likelihood that his or her desired career goals will be achieved. If you examine the history of any great success and review the many actions that preceded it, you'll see that the success factors preceded you'll see a definite pattern emerge. You'll see that successful individuals did many little things, sometimes for years, which made the final success possible. Now here's a rule. There's a direct relationship between the number of different things you attempt and your likelihood of eventual success in achieving your career goals. Success factors in life are as follows. If you get a good education, thoughtfully match your career choice with your natural talents and abilities, and continually work to upgrade your skills and the value of your contribution to your company, your eventual success by achieving your career goals will not be the result of luck. It will be the result of probabilities which are under your control. Now, an additional luck factor is the law of averages, which is an extension of the law of probabilities. This law says that although you cannot predict which one of a series of events will be successful, by the law of averages, you know that by doing a certain thing a certain number of times, like making sales calls, you will achieve your career goals eventually. If you read more books, you're much more likely to read something that can help you in your work or personal life, and you're adding to your success probabilities. If you put in hard work by making more sales calls, you'll be much more likely to meet the prospect who has an immediate need for what you're selling and you are adding to your ability to succeed. If you continually innovate and try new methods to achieve your goals or solve your key problems, you're going to be vastly more successful than someone who plays it safe and tries something new or different and you're adding to the likelihood that you will succeed. If you'd like to learn more, you can get my free Way to Wealth report by visiting the link you see on this screen. Thank you for watching this video about the keys to success to achieve your career goals. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with others.